Democrats. We know that if we give the Ukrainians the support they deserve, they can win this war, they can achieve the just peace that they deserve. We know they need air defenses. The Ukrainian foreign minister was so clear about that uh, in NATO. We know they need ammunition. There's the excellent Czech initiative to bring forward ammunition. That's going to arrive in June, and even before that, Britain is taking action to source more ammunition for them uh, in the run-up to that. We know that they need support from NATO allies and a good outcome to the NATO summit, which we were discussing this morning. And we know that they need money in the form of the frozen Russian sovereign assets, and we're making good progress in how to access that funds on an agreed basis that I think we can take forward at the G7. And of course, in terms of the money they need and the support they need, perhaps nothing is more important than the supplemental that the Congress is looking at at the moment. And I come here with um, no intention to lecture anybody or tell anybody what to do or get in the way of the process of politics and other things in the United States. I just come here as a great friend and believer of, in this country and a believer that it's profoundly in your interests uh, and your security and your future, and the future of all your partners to release this money and, and let it through. And I'm looking forward to meetings I'm going to be having in Congress um, later today.